Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Well, look at this. We're looking at a new Sereno cigar, but this is actually from the Studio Sereno, a new venture for Sereno cigars. Here, I'll tell you all about it. Sereno Cigars has announced the launch of Studio Sereno, an art-inspired division of the company, which aims to use unique tobaccos, vitolas, and branding concepts as a form of artistic expression. The company is launching the first Studio Sereno release called Eleanor Rose. And here it is. Look at that nice shape, don't you think? Uh, if you can make anything out of it, there's the density. That is a, this is called the Eagle, by the way. It's five and five eighths by 50. And uses an Ecuadorian Rosado wrapper, Nicaraguan binder and fillers from Nicaragua, Peru, and Pennsylvania. The name, Eleanor Rose, is sort of multifaceted. Uh, it's a tribute to the uh, ultra fine Ecuadorian Rosado wrapper. Uh, it has a rose on there to signify their love for the trade, the cigar industry. It also pays homage to the song Eleanor Rigby by the Beatles, which is Anthony Serino's favorite song from the 1966 album. And uh, from the album Revolver is one of the sizes of the cigar. The name's one of the sizes of the cigar. Uh, the Eagle, which is this cigar, is named for, uh, in tribute to Carson Serino's favorite song on the album, And Your Bird Can Sing. So they're big into the Beatles. So that's a lot of the tributes and the lead in on my video is why you've heard Beatlesque and saw Beatlesque videos. Three sizes: the Lady, forty-eight, which is five and three-fourths by forty-eight; the Revolver, which I just spoke about, five and three-fourths by fifty-four, pretty good size; and then this Eagle is five and five-eighths by fifty. So now you know all about the background of the cigar and the brand new launch of. Studio Sereno. So let's check this out. First of all, it's a cool shape. So that's check mark number one. That's what they're going for. Let's see what the cigar is like right now. Nice flat cap. Let's see if we can remove just the top there. Yep. Got a nice draw. Considering what we've got to deal with here. Now, I'm going to try using a single flame uh, lighter to try to get this. Such a, I don't want to scorch it. Let's see how well I do. But that's my intent is to get a good, nice light. Initially, it's uh, rather sweet. It's a nice citrus pear combination. Brown sugar, toffee, nutmeg. The nutmeg is a little noticeable at this point. I do expect it to tone down and a black coffee base. Black pepper at about seven and a half. So it's a decent amount of black pepper. Got a lot of sweetness there with that citrus and pear and the brown sugar and the toffee. It's, uh, it's rather sweet. So... Uh, we will progress along. Let's see what we have at the first third. Not a bad start, though. First third. And the citrus notes are coming out more. 
the pear is subtle, brown sugar, light toffee. Quite a bit of nutmeg still. It's more than I thought it would be at this point. And it's very creamy, but it's very noticeable. Black coffee base. Medium body. Finish is uh, a little of the citrus. Nutmeg. And a uh, very good lingering black pepper. The cigar is on the edge of being really good with me, but that nutmeg just kind of takes away a little bit. I'm starting first off at 92. I love the citrus notes, love the pear, love the sweetness, but that elevated amount of nutmeg is just holding it back for me a little bit. Still a good cigar, but we'll start off first start at 92. Let's just see what we have by the end of the second third. into the second third and the uh i need to remove the band but the citrus notes are really nice and sweet and tangy the um pear notes are very light and the nutmeg that is so prominent or has toned down some but you know i'm thinking now it's almond butter along with that nutmeg it's giving it such a deep amount of that flavor but the cigar it, it, well let's go over everything stubby brown sugar and black coffee finish is pretty much unchanged medium body black pepper is very good in the cigar lingering black pepper is very good but to me, it, it moved up a little bit. I'll go 93 on the second third. The citrus notes are very sweet and very tangy, and they're very much out there, even though the nutmeg and the almond butter, if that's what we want to call it, is, is there. It's not quite to the level it was, but still very noticeable. So we're still we're improved. Uh, so that's good. So let's see what we have in the final third. the end so let's wrap it up interesting thing happened in the final third and didn't take long the black coffee really rose the nutmeg and the almond butter is still very noticeable and the citrus really suffered sweeter notes really suffered medium body leaning toward medium to full Finishes a lot of nutmeg with hints of citrus and very good lingering black pepper. The cigar took a turn. It really dropped off for me, but uh, overall, it's not a bad cigar. Uh, the final third, though, I'd rate it 90. And your overall score is 91.67. So it's not a bad cigar. It's just it lost a lot there in the end. And uh, the middle section is definitely the best. First two thirds is really pretty good. That's my take. So there you have it. The new Eleanor Rose from Studio Sereno. 91.67.